spiritualization for being an alert. And it starts with a very person you have heard of, Emma Goldman. Emma Goldman was a very, very popular anarchist and feminist leader who was able to gather crowds of thousands, dozens of thousands of workers all around the United States. She became American by marrying an immigrant who has been himself naturalized, who was a, 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 a Jew from Russia. But, he, but she has divorced from him after one year of marriage. So 20 years later, they tried to find how to stop Emma Goldman coming back from Europe. She was at the Anarchist Congress in Amsterdam in 1907. Well, they cannot stop her because she comes back from North, to Montreal. She arrived and they find finally that they investigate in uh, Rochester, where she, where she was living, etc. And finally they found she was not right away at this point. So they went after her former husband, who probably has died at that time, found that he lied about his date of birth, about his age, denaturalized him in 1909, and by, uh, by deduction, uh, uh, his, her own uh, naturalization is canceled. She's deported only 10 years later by Edgar Hoover. 1990. When she's about to be deported, some of her friends offer her to marry again because she was divorced. And because at that time, until 1922, the Cable Act, if, an, if a foreign woman married an American man, she's become immediately American. She refused. She's sent to Soviet Union because she believed in the Soviet, in Soviet Revolution. But uh, Two years, two years later, she's out of, of Russia. She's in, in, in Riga, very depressed, uh, 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 and she asked uh, and she asked uh, uh, her lawyer uh, if she couldn't find if he could not find her a man to marry her and as to come back in what she considered her own the United States. But exactly at that moment. The feminist movement win its battle and permit the American woman not to become foreigner by marrying a foreigner, which was also the rule. And American and women became free to keep their citizenship uh, while marrying a man of another nationality, which was a battle they have fought uh, in, in the last 15 years. So one of the consequences that Emma Goldman never come back to the U.S and we died at the border of the country in Toronto in 1940. But in addition to her, and they found this illegality of her husband denaturalization to denaturalize her, there are people who have been naturalized legally, and they have become socialists, communists, and then some of them will become Nazis. So here there is a sort of construct, as, as you say in English, there is not a very good word to translate that in French. The law is construed by the courts. In a way, I will describe. As you know, there is a pledge of allegiance when you are naturalized. And so the court says, basing its reasonings on sociological studies, as integration progresses year after year. If 20 years after your naturalization, you say you are against the First World War, so you show unfaithfulness to the country, it means that at the moment of your naturalization, you had a mental reservation. You lie. And based on this concept of mental reservation, uh, German-Americans who opposed the war in the First World War, uh, some socialists, anarchists, communists, were denaturalized, uh, uh, starting uh, during the First World War, 